bent down. How? They closed their eyes and began to Krishna and they so their asu <coughs> went on. How? Next day, that day they had they were clothed by their husbands and others. But next next day when they opened, <coughs> they met with Siddha Gopi, and they were matured. In this way, all the gopis were clothed by blocked by their husband. When they have association of Siddha Gopi, gradually they became matured. And then they joined the rush. And in so way, when they went there, and then Krishna told, Oh, no. Parikhit Maharaj asked, Oh, they have jar how to Krishna. Paramur mood. Hmm? Paramur mood. Paramur to Krishna. And how they were liberated? Kaho gunmam deham sadya prachinna bandhana. How? They were thinking that Krishna is of Paramur. Paramur. Hmm. Paramur bhav. How they cross the birth and death, everything. <coughs> oh, I have told you. Uktam Purastam. Hmm. He becomes some angry. I told you in Prahla Charitra that if comes by fear and she is followed by envy, they receive decree. They, they become liberated. Huh? They become liberated. Liberated. Why these gopis know? With love and affection? They must be. Hmm. You should not have any question like this. And then what Krishna told, O oh, gopis, swagatam, swagatam. What happened after? O Magyana Timirandhasya, Gyana Andana Shlakya, Chakshur Unmilitam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikai Tudali Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Jad Bhaktaya Namo Nama First of all, I offer my Sastang Dhanavat Pushpanjali to my heart like flowers thousands of times at the lotus feet of Asmadeya Paramaradhatama Guru Pada Padma Om Vishnu Pada Shlotara Sata Sisimad Rupanu Gachari Varya Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Sri Rupanu Nuka Gaudiya Guru Varda Shri Guru Parampara and I offer my pranam to all the assembled uh, Anandutandi Padagan and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis So we have heard from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev how Upon hearing the sound of Sri Krishna's flute on the evening, on the night, more louder, on the night of Sharad Purnima, Brad Gopis left everything and ran to meet with Sri Krishna at the bank of Jamuna. And they surrounded him on all four sides. And when they met together, no one wanted to be the first to speak. There was a silence. Gopis were thinking Krishna should speak first. Krishna was thinking Gopi should speak first. So for some times there was silence. Then Sri Krishna broke the silence. He said, Swagatam va Mahabhaga, Priyamkim Karavani va. Oh, welcome. Official welcome. Welcome to the forest of Vrindavan. Why have you come here? Did you come here because there is some problem in your home? Please tell me. Rajani Aisha Gaura Rupam Gaura Sattva Nishavitam Krishna said, This night is uh, very uh, dark and the forest is dark and there are very dangerous animals here. So now you have come, you saw the beauty of the forest, but now you should return. Pratiyata Brajam Neha Stayam Sri Bhisumadhyama O beautiful gopis, 
you should not stay here. You should return to your homes. Why? Because a woman who is religious, who wants to be happy, she should always serve her husband, even when he is old, sick, lame, poor, or anything. And in this way, she can be happy. But if one will neglect this, then will, they will have to suffer. So you should return to your homes. When Braj Gopis heard the words of Krishna, their hearts were broken. But Krishna's words, they have double meaning. He said, Rajani Aisha Gaura Rupam. One meaning, Rajani Aisha, this night Gaura Rupam. He's dark and frightening. And Rajani Aisha, A Gaura Rupam. Actually, the night is very beautiful. Gaura Sattva Nishevita. And the forest has many dangerous animals. No, A Gaura Sattva. The forest is full of very soft, gentle animals like peacocks and cuckoo birds and others. And Pratyata Brajam Neha Sleham Sribi Sumadhyama means Pratyata Brajam, return to Braj. Na here, not here, stay home, don't stay here. But the same words means Pratyata Brajam Na, don't return to Braj, stay here. Hmm? So in the same words, Sri Krishna was telling them, hmm? return to Braj, don't stay here, return to Braj, not. Stay here, <laughs> like this. So Krishna spoke equivocal words. And upon hearing these words of Sri Krishna, gopis, they began to weep and mark the ground with their toes. And they said to Krishna, My vam vibohati bhavang gabitam risangsam. O Sri Krishna, it is not uh, just that you should speak such heartbreaking words to us. Because we have left all kinds of happiness and everything just for your service. So just as Lord Narayan, we have heard that Gargacharya said, Tasmin yamte Narayana Samogane that you have qualities like Narayan. So Lord Narayan, he reciprocates with the surrender of his devotees. So we have come and surrendered ourselves to you. So you should surrender, you should reciprocate with our surrender and accept our service. Raj Gopis told Sri Krishna you are instructing us in religious principles that we should return and serve our husbands. So, it is a religious principle, but before doing anything, before serving one's husband, before even serving God, what? Patanam tu gurum pujam tataskaiva mamarchanam. It is stated that before worshipping God even, one should serve Guru. So Krishna, you are giving us instructions in religious principles, so you are our guru. So we should stay here and serve you first. This is more important. Braj Gopi said, Chittam Sukhena Bhavata Paritam Griheshu. O Sri Krishna, we were very Chittam Sukhena. We were happy in how our, uh, doing our household chores. But you, uh, by your beautiful qualities and the sound of your flute, you stole our hearts. You stole our chitta, our consciousness. So you know that our senses, our arms and legs, our eyes and ears, they don't work unless they are connected with the consciousness. If, you are, if someone is speaking, you have ears, you are not deaf, but your mind has wandered somewhere else. Then when the mind comes back, say, oh, excuse me, what did you say? Because though the ears are there, they don't work unless the chitta is there. So Braj Gopi said to Krishna, you have stolen our chitta. So our legs, they don't work. You told us to go home. But our legs, they cannot go because we have no chitta. First you should give us back our chitta. Sintanga nasta dadaramrita pura kena. O Sri Krishna, by the sound of your flute, by your beautiful smiles, you have ignited a fire within our hearts. And this fire is so vast, it can only be extinguished by a flood of nectar. And where is that flood of nectar? Oh, that is only in your lips. So either you should put out our fire of devotion to you by a flood of nectar from your lips, or otherwise in the fire of separation, we will give up our bodies. And just like any yogi who gives up his body in fire, then he will go to the, his destination that he's meditating on. So like yogis, we will give up our bodies in the fire of separation and anyway, by meditating on you, we must attain you. So either you agree to meet with us or anyway we will 
uh, get our desired goal. In this way, Raj Gopis, they told Sri Krishna, you told us that we should follow religious principles, that we should not go against religious principles. But this is not our fault that we apparently we've gone against all religious principles. Why? It's the fault of your flute. Sri Krishna, when you play upon your flute, then everything changes its dharma. The birds that usually fly here and there restlessly, they become like sages meditating. The cows who only know about eating, they stop chewing and they meditate on you. The trees that don't move, they are still, they begin to tremble in ecstasy. So every moving and non-moving living entity changes its dharma. So if we have given up our dharma, don't blame us, this is not our fault. This is your fault, Sri Krishna. So hearing all these astonishing arguments, counter-arguments from Brady Gopis, Krishna had spoken ten verses to tell the gopis to return to their homes. And gopis spoke eleven verses to explain to Krishna why they should stay and he should accept them. Then Sri Krishna, who really, he did not want them to return, but rather he wanted to do some bhagavilas, some games of uh, joking words with them. Then Sri Krishna began to laugh and accept them. And they began the Rasalila. And then Arash began. What is Arash? Arasha. Arash means sugar plus water. This worldly Russia. And here, a mood of some sentiments by coming by dancing and singing with Krishna coming. So Krishna is enjoying all these rushes there. So it is rush. If some ladies and one male, male will dance each other by keeping their hands, then it is called ras. Still in India some places it is though. But really here Krishna is Supreme Lord. Gopis are his Vladini Shakti or its manifestation. So they both, Krishna enjoying and enjoying Krishna, very happy, and seeing Krishna happy, the gopis, more happy. In this way their happiness goes up and up. After that, all the gopis, They saw that Krishna is dancing with me only. Then they became, oh, they were thinking that we are most fortunate than anyone, even Radhika and others. But because Krishna is giving up all the gopis and dancing with me. So they th thought, oh, we are very Sabhagyavati, more than anyone. And Radhika seeing this, oh, she had ma. When I see towards me, Krishna is here. And when I see to them, oh, Krishna is dancing with them. So they are and myself are not equal. He used to tell that you are most beloved. Where is most beloved? So ma came. So Ras like a stop. Krishna thought, huh? I will have to Radhika, please, and take up her mouth. And so Bhagya Mother, the gopis would think hmm, that Radhika is most high, most beloved of Krishna. They should realize, especially in this, Krishna when left, Krishna did not disappear alone. 
first he saw that Radhika is giving up this rush and he, she has done man and she, does not, she is not here. Then Krishna also disappeared with Radhika. It has been told that Radhika was with Krishna and that is why he had told. Anya Radhito Nunam Bhagavan Hari Vishwara Janu Bihai Govinda Prito Yamaya. This, this lady has worshipped Narayan and by that she has been most beloved that Krishna alone took that lady and has gone from here. Then there what Sobhagamat went down. And after that, Sri Radhika, he decorated her hair and he flattered so many things. Excuse me, I will not do again this. <laughs> and then Radhika satisfied. And so many things. After that, Krishna saw that if Radhika and Gopis are not here, how rough. So he disappeared with Radhika. Then they began to lament. What we can after? No? You? You can? Achha, after that. Om Agyana Timirandhasya Dhananjana Salataya Chakshurun Militanjena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Vancha Kalpatarubhascha Kipasindu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanibhu Vishnavibhu Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I may have my humble obeisances and the Lord has put my Paramarat, the Guru Pad Padma, Om Vishnu Pad, Astotar Satasimad Bhakti Vedanta Slava Mangasang Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Pad, Paripajaka Charja Varja, Astotar Satasimad Bhakti Vedanta Slava Narayangasang Maharaj. I pay my all respect to all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis who assembled here to listen Hari Katha from Sila Guru Dev, Lotus Leaves, headed by the Dalit Sannasis. So, as you have heard from Sila Guru Dev, that when Radhika became sulky mood and Radhika saw, oh, always Krishna flattered with me that I am his most beloved. And when I look towards me, then Krishna next to me. And when I look towards Chandra, Saiva, Padma, Bhadra, all with them. I am, is, am, I, am I equal to them? So he is a liar. So I will not be here anymore. So Radhika became sulky and walked out from there. And why it happened? As before, Srila Vishnachal Thakur has told, once Radhika during joking to told Krishna, Oh Krishna, I want to see that you will dance with all gopis along with me in same time. To fulfill Radhika's desire, Krishna did so. But the influence of Yogamaya, Radhika forgot all these things that he told us before. And gopis, when Krishna dancing with them, and they not look towards other gopis, like Radhika saw, they thought, oh, we are most fortunate. No one is equal to me. So they became so far, they have so far the mod. So when there is so far the mod, especially Radhika became sulky. So Krishna, how continued last dance? So what happened? Prasamaya, Prasadhanaya, Tattvaivantar Dhyate. So Krishna want to break their Subhadva Mod and want to Prasadhan Radhika to make pleas to Radhika. So Krishna disappeared from that place. And he searched in Radhika and he found Radhika and both of them walk out from Ras dance. When all of a sudden Ras dance stops, then all gopis, oh, what happened? Where is Krishna? Where is our beloved? 
all are searching Krishna. But no one is looking towards Radhika. Why? Because there are one billion gopis are there. And Krishna alone. So we look towards other gopis. And Krishna is the main center of Ras dance. So they are searching Krishna. Although Krishna is not Raseshwar. Srimati Radhika is Raseshwari. Means Radhika is the empress of Ras dance. But Krishna is not emperor. The gopis are searching Krishna. But when they are searching, they found so many footmarks, footprints. In Krishna footprints, there are disc, lotus, barley, goat, so many things are there. And when they are searching, and next to Krishna's, in between Krishna's footprint, there is another little smaller footprint there. There were so many auspicious marks. With Radhika's group, there are four groups are there. Sapaksha, Vipaksha, Tatastha and Sridpaksha. Sapaksha means Radhika's own party. Vipaksha means Radhika's against party means Chandravali. Srid means not completely towards Radhika, but friendly term with Radhika, they are Srid to Radhika. And Tatastha means who is Srid to Chandravali, they are Tatastha for Radhika. And who is Srid for Chandravali, they are Tatastha for Radhika. They are searching. Seeing that another footprints, Lalita, Visaka, etc., they became extremely happy. But other groups, Tatastha, Sridhpaksha and Vipaksha, they could not figure out whose footprint is there. So they uttered one slok, Anaya Radhito Nunam, Bhagavan Hari Rishara, Janno Vihaya Govinda, Prithuja Manaya Draha, Anaya Radhito Nunam, must be these gopis had served Narayan extremely. By which, Hari Bhagavan Hari. Why Bhagavan here? Because Bhagavan has so many opulence, he can do what is possible and what is not possible, what never be possible can do that. So Krishna here, he is the owner of all Aishwarya, all opulence, what he wants he can do, what is not very possible he can do that what he did in Ras dance, dancing with same time all gopis. Hari Dishtara, Yarno Vihaya Govinda, Pritoja Manayadraha. Why Sukhdev Goswami told Govinda, why not Damodar, Madhav, so many names of Krishna. Govinda means, who give pleasure to cow, calf, senses, mother art, and gop and gopis, etc. Here, Govinda means, go means gopi, and go in senses. Who can give pleasure to Gopi and their senses all? So he used the name Govinda. And he took him in his solitary place. And Srila Sukhdev, Srila has told, this spoke not only by Sapaksha, not only by Vipaksha, not against party, even by Sapaksha means Lolita's party. Why? Because they knew very well, they are always serving Srimati Radhika. They know what auspicious marks Radhika has. To pretend against party and others, they are telling, oh, who is that fortunate lady? To whom taking Krishna and give up us all and went to any solitary place? So they are searching. So in the searching, they enter in the forest, they saw some tulasi leaves, a tulasi plant, they are very happy. First they went to the big trees and they asked to Krishna. The trees not replied, Oh, they are in male fe female uh, they are in male so we are male form, we are female form, oh they are not caring for us. Let go forward. Then they went. Then they saw Tulasi plant. They extremely happy. They asked Tulasi. Tulasi not replied. Oh, maybe Govinda starts Tulasi, so he became very popped up. So she is not telling us anything. Let us go forward. Then they saw that some deers, Eno Patni, they asked them, but they entered in the forest. They are telling, oh, she is indicating us that Krishna is going this way. Let us go forward. They are searching, and in the, in the other hand, Radhika told to Krishna, Radhika is going with Krishna, so to make his, to want to specify her, so he picks some flowers, and when he picks, when he picks flowers, then his 
complete footprint is not there. He used to just a little higher, so he like this, only by toe. So footprint of toe is there only. When goat is found, oh, it seems that Krishna picked up flower or because only sign of toe is there, it's a little higher and some fruit drop down, the must picking flower and decorate that fortunate lady. After some time, they are searching, searching, Radhika thought, oh, all the gopis who likes me so much, like their own life and soul, how come I can be alone with Krishna? It's not fair for me. I want, which I am enjoying, which I am experiencing, they must experience same thing. So she told to Krishna, Oh Krishna, I could not walk anymore. However you like, you can take me. But Krishna, he does not like any submissive mood. In rush dance, in the paramour mood, if some Naika became submissive, it is not pleasing to Krishna. Krishna always like Gopi's contrary mood. So it, Radhika is telling, wherever you like, you can take me. That means submissive mood came to Radhika. So it's not pleasing Krishna completely. So Krishna, he thought, oh, now Radhika becomes submissive. I don't like that. In other hand, Krishna wants to supremacy of Radhika among all gopis. So Krishna said, okay, I am sitting, you can climb on my shoulder. As soon as Krishna sitting in Radhika, I want to sit on, her, on his shoulder, Krishna disappeared from there. And disappeared, he hid some place close by. And Radhika, when he saw, oh, Krishna is not here, he lamenting so much. And gopis searching, searching, arrived at that point, and they found Radhika is lamenting and weeping so bitterly. Then they... She has become faint. And she became faint. And they brought some Jamuna water, sprinkle on her face and eyes, make her, bring her sense back, and then Radhika told what happened. And all gopis thought, oh, if we search and see Radhika's same condition, all became sympathy towards Radhika. If they are supposed to see Radhika, along with Krishna, envious mood may come up among them. But still Radhika, same condition, what condition they have as before. So now they are all lamenting for Krishna. They thought, oh, we should not go any more deep forest. If we go more deeper, then our soulmate, our beloved, will go more deeper and deeper. It will be very painful for him. So better we can go back to Jamuna Pulin and we can start glorify to him. Why so? Once Narada is told to Bhagavan, Oh Bhagavan, where you live? Krishna told, Nahamabhuta this chami vaikunthe yogi nam hridaye na cha madhvakta jatra gayanti tatra this chami narada Narada, Bhagavan told, Naham this chami vaikunthe I am not living in vaikuntha. Narada, Prabhu, then are you living in Jogisasram? No, 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 not Jogisasram. So where are you live? Madhvakta yatra gayanti Tatra Tishthami Narada Here my devotee is glorifying me I always live there Here in Bhagavad it mentioned Gayanti means plural number means combinedly glorifying to Krishna Krishna must be there So they remember this Kaurnamasi speech See they heard from Kaurnamasi They went to Jamuna Pulin and they start combinedly glorifying Krishna Jayati Te Thikam Janamana Braja Sayata Indira Sasadatra Hi Daita Drishatam Dikchutavaka Spaidhita Sava Spalavichinate Oh, thank you. So by this way, they are searching Krishna and one after another they are glorifying Krishna and became so lamenting so much. They are lamenting and weeping and glorifying Krishna. Saratuda Asaye Sadhu Jata Sat Sarasi Yodara Sri Musadisa Suratana Thote Sulkadasika Bharata Nignato 
স্নেহ তিন বধ হে নন্দ নন্দন যশোদ নন্দন হে দামোদর হে শ্রীমাধব মহাপ্রভু under guidance of Sarup Damodar and Aramananda uttering this song then Mahaprabhu became extremely happy and told oh you may drink me nectar and for my years what can I do I am a sannasi only I can give embrace I can embrace you and give embrace and Prataputra's life became successful so now we are asking this job here so it will be better if you listen from Srila Gurudev Lotasli then you will be more ben, uh, ben, ben, benefited So I'm stopping here, anything good? Or when you go to Guru Devi, if I seek any false things, please excuse me. Very good, thank you. 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 Thus, all the gopi, even against party, even now they have sahanubhuti sympathy huh? sympathy sympathy to radhika because she was lamenting and she became fan when they are meeting then some jealousy and if they see that oh she feels some separation all like us then they have some sympathy so all came returned back to the jamuna pulling and they began to weep bitterly but bitterly weeping of ladies in india oh like song glory why they are weeping hmm? as her so many ladies weeping and singing like Same that time. so these are weeping bitterly for the separation of krishna they cannot tolerate and began to weep louder iti pragayanta জন্মনা ধৈতদিশতিচুসাবকাশুনন্দনোদর ভুবিগৃহীদন্দন First I offer my unlimited obeisances and the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Dikshi Gurudev, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pai, 
Pastor to the Satishri Srimad Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipful Shiksha Gurudev. Om Vishnu Pad, Asto to the Satishri Srimad Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj. To all of our disciplic succession and all the assembled devotees. So Shiva Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words on the gopis, gopi Geet. When Srila Gurudev was introducing this subject uh, to the English devotees, Western devotees, in the early 90s, he explained the relationship between Srimad Bhagavatam and the world, and the relationship between gopi Geet and Srimad Bhagavatam. He, he quoted from the first chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, Paramat Prochchita Kai Devotara Paramo Nirmat Saranam Satam. The Srimad Bhagavatam, which is understandable only by those who are completely pure at heart, is the reality that uproots the threefold miseries. And anybody who submissively and attentively hears the Srimad Bhagavatam under proper guidance, all unwanted things disappear from his heart and he becomes fixed in love for Krishna. Now, there are nine cantos leading up to the tenth canto. And the chapters, the five chapters in relation to Rasalila, are the, um, the Panchapran, the five life heirs of Srimad Bhagavatam. And the Gopi Geet is the main pran of all the Pancha Prans. So of all the chapters in the uh, Ras Pancha Jai, the five chapters in relation to Ras, Srila Gurudev said that this Gopi Geet is most important. And of all Srimad Bhagavatam, as Srila Gurudev has been speaking from the first canto, these uh, chapters about the Ras Lila is the goal of the life of all fortunate living entities. So the gopis are now on the bank of Jamuna, and they went to the bank of Jamuna rather than being in the forest, because on the bank of Jamuna there's wide open space, and in that way the beautiful sound of their voices and singing and weeping would not be obstructed and it would go far and wide. So wherever Krishna may be, he would be able to hear their song. So in the first verse, Jayati Te Dikam Jan Mana Brajam, the gopis are singing and weeping, that, O oh, beloved, because of your birth in the land of Vrindavan, Vrindavan has become most glorious. How glorious? More glorious even than Swarga, the heavenly planets and even more glorious than Vaikuntha. In fact, the goddess of Vaikuntha, Lakshmi Devi, has, since the time of your birth, wanting to serve you, left her own husband, Lord Narayan, and has come to Braj to engage in menial services of sweeping in all of your kunjas, all of your gullies, by the rivers, by the mountains, everywhere she's sweeping and for your glorification to make everything nice for you. So Srila Gurudev explained that actually, as we hear so many times, particularly in Brajman and Parikrama, there's no question of Lakshmi Devi coming to Vrindavan. She's not qualified to come to Vrindavan. But the gopis are simply glorifying the beauty and opulence of Vrindavan. That's how it naturally is. So because they're the original goddess of fortune, in their mood of love and separation, they're just giving credit to the goddess of fortune, but actually it's the nature of Vrindavan. Then in the next verse... Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Looking at the name. When you took birth in this planet in Vrindavan, Braja, then himself Lakshmi and the deity of 
wealth, deity of all beauty, Hasad that Lakshmi came down to Braja, making groups very, very beautiful, forests very beautiful, blooming in the in the Konya, himself, herself, blooming, this Lakshmi, and all are now rich and very beautiful. All are happy by you. But thing is that only we are lamenting for you, and we are we will die without you. So all are happy, but we are only unhappy. So please come and give darshan. Bisha Jalat Paya, you have protected us from Kali Hrada Bish. Bial, Agasur and others. By Indra, heavy rain. And Bhishmaya Atma. Arishtasu. And Bhishwatu Bhayat. And so many. Chaos. Dangers. Dangers. But why you say? If you say, then you must say now by your separation. Otherwise we will die. And Koti Koti Gopiyo ka marne ka marne ka tumhara daith hone se Koti Koti Gopiyo ka marne ka paap tumko lagega. But And you will be guilty of the sin of killing millions of gopis. Because you are killing us, not killing by sword, but by Eyes. vision, you are killing us. Nakhal gopi ka nakhal. Certainly you are not son of Yasoda. Because you are so cruel. Mother Yasoda is very, very... Soft-hearted. Soft very soft. Merciful. But you, very cruel, oh, very cruel hearted. We left for you our children, our husband, our Lok Dharma, Ved Dharma, Chesty City, everything for you. And you left us. So you are very cruel. Don't be cruel. Pranatha Dehinam Papa Karasanam. They are praying that give your hands, hands and your feet, your feet on our head. Ah, oh, on our bread. Krishna tell him, that I cannot do. Pap will come to me. Pap means? Sin. Sin. I being the son of Nanda Baba, so high class of Marjada Prabhu, how I can do? Oh, Papa Karsanam. Oh, those who take your shelter, automatically they come across Pop seen. How Pop will pass you? Never, never. Then Krishna told, Oh, my feet are very soft. soft. I cannot keep you. And your heart? Very what? hard. Very hard and hard. Hard or hard. I cannot. Then, oh, Tirucharanugam, you can walk, you can graze cows on hilly places, on very sharp sharp stone, stone. stones and here and there. Hmm. Place. And not here our how it can be. Then Krishna told, I am very high class of dharmic, religious person. Extremely religious I person. cannot keep my heart uh, feet on your breast. Then gopis that Sri Niketanam. If you can keep your Lakshmi. feet in the laps of Lakshmi, Lakshmi 
and she is always serving. Why not to me, to us? Once Lakshmi, Bhavani, wife of Shankar, and Brahmani, and Brahmani, Brahmani, Saraswati, they told her their husband. We are hearing so much glory of Anusuya Devi, very chest lady. We want that you should break her chastity, break their chastity, anyhow, and go and take their <coughs> pariksha. Examination. And thus you should uh, chastity, you should take away. They were telling. Oh, you don't know the power of Anushuya. He is Krishna devotee. If he will go, some danger may come. But they Insisting. could not tolerate their Anushuya glory, so again and again they requested. Then three went there. In disguise of Brahmin. In the cottage of Anushuya. She was alone, a three rishi has. Another cottage. Another cottage. So they went there and told the Bhiksham Dehi, Oh, you should give some all. Hmm. Then Anushuya came with some fruits and some things and oh. began to eat. They told her, No, in this note, you should be naked and then come to us. Then he thought, How they are? Who are they? Why they are telling? So she went to Atri, oh, you should be here, Atri Maharshi, and asked that, oh, there are three persons coming and telling that give on oh, being naked. Then he told, oh, don't fear, there are Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, give you. She returned back and then he told, or oh, by my chastity, you should be newborn baby. Newborn baby, just today, <laughs> and come in our lap. And then they at once became baby, baby. and Uttilis. they were taking breast milk of Anusya Devi. So many long time went Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Brahm Shivani. They were thinking where our husbands had gone now. <laughs> Not is still returned. <laughs> then Narad Rishi came there and he told that he has gone to cheat Anushuya and he has cheated him by them and now they are baby and taking milk of Anushuya Devi. Anushuya Devi. Then they become very well and they took the form of a Brahmani. Brahmini and they went there. And when they went to the door of Anusuya, Anusuya said, Who are you? Bhikshang Dehi. Oh, we are your... Naga, Dabla Bhikshang Chai. Ki Bhikshang Chai? Oh, what you want? Oh, we want something. Who are you? We are your daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law. How daughter-in-law? <laughs> my son is too small. I not marry my son now. <laughs> then they told, that return back our husband. <laughs> Without our husband, how we can do? Then she kindly get them Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, but their answer, Expansion. manifestation, Expansion. was uh, where with Anusuya. And they were Brahma became Chandrama, Brahma like moon, and Vishnu became Dr. Vishnu Dattatreya, Dattatreya Durvasa. and Durbasa he became. And still they are with them. So now, here, Si Niketanam. For that reason, now Lakshmi never gets up Krishna feet, um, Narayan feet, anywhere, anywhere. So Narayan is you. So never living. So, if you give your feet in, in the laps of Lakshmi Devi, why not to us? 
and then Sri Nike Khani Phanar Kita. Khani Phanar Kita. Oh, my feet are very, very soft and soft. Cool. But your breast is burning hmm? like top. I cannot. Oh, Phanar Phanar Kita. You have kept your feet on the hood of the hood. hoods of snakes. They are nothing, and here. So, so common. So they, Krishna were defeated by the gopis, by these arguments. And then, Tava katha amritam tapta jivanam. You are ready. Try. Om Jnana Simirandasya Jnana Anjana Shadakana Chakshuram Vidhantena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha So, now the Braja Gopis, in continuation of their songs of separation called Gopi Geet, they are expressing all their inner heart's moods to Krishna. But their words are also uh, taken directly and also with hidden meanings. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, he has revealed so many of these hidden meanings behind the words of the gopis because in their, in their transcendental anger, their man against Krishna, so sometimes they're also blaming Krishna, accusing Krishna, calling him cheater and so forth. But in actuality, all of their words are glorifications of Krishna still. So this verse, Tavakatam Ritam, Tavakatam Ritam Tapta Jeevanam, Kavibir Eeditam, Srimad Atma, Kalmashapaham, Shravanamangalam, Srimadapat Atatam, Bhuvi Grananti J, Bhurita Jana. So here the gopis are saying, Tavakatamritam Tapta Jeevanam. Your transcendental narrations, your Krishna Katha, which are descriptions of your beauty, your qualities, your names, your pastimes, it is all nectar, Amritam, Tavakatamritam. And by hearing this, all the Jiva souls, all the living beings within this world, Tapta Jeevanam, they are all suffering from endless miseries of wandering in the cycle of birth and death. So all of their suffering, it becomes completely destroyed by this transcendental nectar of your narrations. Uh, the greatest personalities, the kavis, the poets, they go here and there narrating all your transcendental uh, pastimes and qualities and names and they shower this nectar upon all the suffering jivas and what happens? Kalmashapaham all of their previous contaminations from sinful activities for many many lifetimes uh, they become completely destroyed all stages of karma uh, all prarabdha, aprarabdha, bhuta, bij everything becomes destroyed this nectar is so powerful, the, not like the, uh, the attainment of heavenly planets even, or the attainment even of Brahmananda, because there, if someone attains the heavenly planets, still his lusty desires, they become, uh, they, they continue to go on, and as a result of that, he still again has to take birth, and again he has to suffer. <laughs> So the attainment of heavenly planets is nothing in comparison to this nectar of your katha. Or what to speak of Brahmananda, there also, there is no actual transcendental bliss enjoyed by the soul. But this nectar, Kavatatam Ritam, it awards one the highest Srimad Atakam. It gives one the greatest wealth and what is that? It gives one Krishna Prem. So, Kaviviriditam Kalmashapaham Shravanamangalam Srimadapaham 
This hearing process of your transcendental narrations is supremely auspicious. Shravanam Mangalam and Srimad Atatam. It gives one the greatest attainment of Krishna Prem. So, Bhuvi Grinanti J Bhuri Dajana. All those divine personalities who are completely immersed in relishing this nectar of your narrations, they wander here and there in this world. Oh, narrating this to the Jiva souls, really, they are Buddha Jana. They are the most uh, generous personalities, most generous personalities. They are helping the Jiva souls like anything. So this is the one meaning of this verse taken directly, but the gopis also have embedded their moods within their words. And Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur is explaining that. He's saying, Tava Katam Ritam. Here, the word Mritam, Kata Mritam. Mritam means death. So the gopis, they are saying that your Kata, the narrations of your transcendental activities, it causes death to persons. What kind of death? Oh, that now, after hearing these narrations, now they will constantly be suffering and just practically uh, on the verge of death from severe separation mood. If these narrations are not accompanied by the vision, the transcendental vision of you, like now we are here and we are lamenting in intense separation mood from you. So this vision is not, this uh, remembrance of your pastimes is not accompanied by your vision. Therefore, what is the result of this kata? Mritam. Only it brings death. Kavakatam mritam tapta jivanam. And it causes constant suffering and pain. Just like now we are feeling this pain and agony, intolerable separation, moods from you. So this is the result of this kata. Kavakatam mritam tapta jivanam. Kavibir iditam srimad atatam. And here, it is telling that the persons who are blinded, Srimad means wealth also. Those persons who are blinded by wealth, in other words, materialistic persons, oh, they organize so many uh, festivals of Harikata with, by spending lavishly here and there. But what is the result? The, the result of that is that people come, they become attracted to this. And then, as a result of becoming attracted to your Harikata, now they cannot any longer be in this material world and enjoy with family and friends and so forth. Now they give up their miserable household life and they wander to Vrindavan. And there in Vrindavan, what do they become? They become like birds. They become like the animals wandering here and there, like beggars, only begging, begging. So in this way, the Braja Gopis, they express their moods of intense separation from Krishna but actually, their words were also simultaneously a glorification of Krishna. So this is the beauty of this uh, divine songs of the gopis, gopi ki. In this way, gopis are weeping bitterly and singing. Oh, there are so many things, but we have no time. Our time has been finished. If Krishna will give time, we can explain something. So, <laughs> there are weeping and at once Krishna, Tasam Abhirbhut Sauri, oh, Krishna appeared. How? He was somewhat smiling. Same Pitambar in there, his neck. Like he had done some offense, and he came at once nearer to Gopi. Some Gopi, hearing, seeing this, they took Krishna feet in their laps, some hands on his head, some so many ways, and some far, far away, they were Shooting. by their eyes. Shooting to Krishna. What? Shooting Krishna. Shooting Krishna. Hmm? Who was? Those who were taking in the lap. Oh. Uh, Chandravali Padma Sabya like this hand out. Samtak. Suhrit also like some. Anyway. And 
Srimati Radhika and Lalita Vishakha were from far away. They are shooting Krishna. Oh, you are so cruel that you've left us. And then, oh, when they give, uh, they make a seat for Krishna. They are Uttariya. Uttariya. It was colored with kumkum of the gopis. And they made seat for Krishna. All gopis, oh, it will be so high, so one Guru. class of gopi, one second, third, like this. And Krishna sat on them, hmm, on each. But they saw, oh, Krishna is sitting in my person, not other. Everyone saw that Krishna is sitting there. Then gopis asked Krishna, smiling, oh, we have some question to you. We know that in this world there are several calls of person. Anyone, someone, if he loves, another also loves. If he has pain, he has pain. There are some persons where that there is no pain, but they do pray. And there are some also that whether you do pray or not, they don't have any pray. Among three, who are you? You are who? In, in that what category? Then Krishna is being told, I am none of them. First, those who do pray, Exchange of prem, exchange of prem. Uh, uh, against prem, they are businessmen. Their prem is not prem. No should there. Really, that not prem. And those who do prem, whether anyone is doing prem or not, but they are doing. They are father, mother, and especially guru more than that. Father, mother also, and you are among them. Hmm? No one in this world. And those who have love, but he has no love, whether you are loving or not, he is neutral. 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 Hmm? There are four kinds. Hmm? Atma Ram, Atma Kam, Akritagya Guru Drohi. What Atkam? Who has no any desire. Like Sukhdev Goswami has no desire. But I am not that. If I have Atkam, then why I call you by four flow? So I am not Atkam. Then, Atma, Atma Ram, Atma Ram, and not Atma Ram, because I am being my Atma is Radhika, and I always playing with Radhika, uh, with her. So I am not Atta, Atma Ram. I only please uh, become happy with Radhika. And then akritagya. Akritagya means ungrateful. 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 I'm not ungrateful. Hmm? If I was ungrateful, how I, I have come here now again? Why I called you? Hmm? And again I'm here with you. Hmm? I was always with you. Hmm? But you could not show me. So I'm not ungrateful. And Guru Drohi are two kinds. Without any reason and with reason. Like father my head, mother has become old and they are Kashi. <coughs> and that son, oh, go out of room. My children are could not sleep. Cannot sleep. This is the reason. And there are some without reason. Hmm? 
but I am not among them. Who are you? Then Krishna told that, oh, to increase your eagerness, I have done this. I was hearing all that you were singing, everything. I was not far away. Only to increase your love, love and affection, that it should go more and more. I was hiding himself and following you. So I was not. And then Krishna told, Napareham nirvadya sanjaya. I cannot repay you. You have given up everything for me. Your husband, chastity. Oh, you have across the uh, order of your superiors in all respect. But I cannot give up. I cannot give Nanda Baba, Jasoda, and other devotees. Jejatang Maam Prapadante Dham If I am not doing, I cannot give up. I cannot be with you, like you. You have left everything, but I cannot leave anyone. So please be. If I will take birth like Brahma what day, even I cannot repay you. Please, you should be happy. By your virtue, you should be pleased. Then gopis told me that, oh, you have accepted that you cannot repay. By this word, you, we are all ready. In this way, this was the rasa, and again they began to dance. And in the end, they told, Bhikriditam Pajipaduhi Dhancha Vishnu. Sabdhanvito Anushaniya Tata Barnayi Deja Bhaktim Param Patilakya Kamam Hridaroga Masum Api Hinat Tache. If anyone will hear this sweet pastimes of Krishna by his Guru, serving his Guru, and hearing from him, and then if he will explain to others, and those who are really a strong faith, and they will hear always, repeatedly, their Krishna Prem will come in their heart. And after that, what become? Oh, they're all lust, Hidayaro, Anartha also goes away. This is the last purport of this whole Rosh Lila. In this way, whole Brahma one day, uh, one night went on. Now Gopi did not want to give up Krishna. But by Jeyog Maya, all their husbands saw that all Gopis are with us. Jeyog Maya had made their forms. And when Gopi was there with Krishna, and when they returned back, they saw that, oh, my wife is here. So did not what, do envy to them. Go Prima. for all the uh, service that has been done here, but first of all, I would like to offer my most humble obeisances and to my Diksha Guru, Pila Esi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and also to my most worshipful and beloved Pila Gurudev, my Diksha Guru, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to all the Vaishnavas present here, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So I have been asked to speak some words of appreciation and of course um, all those who have been instrument here in the festival have been ins an instrument in Srila Gurudev's hands. We are not independent. We are only doing anything or capable of doing anything if we have the mercy and empowerment of Srila Gurudev. 
So our first obligation is to recognize that and make a sincere and utmost effort to be qualified disciples for Srila Prabhupada and our success in Seva will be forever increasing. I have a list of devotees here I think we may have to keep it short because time is short. There's a long list. First of all, or after acknowledging Srila Gurudev's uh, influence on us, I would like to say that all the classes of the sannyasis, I have to admit I hardly heard much of any classes, I was too busy to go, but they are also all empowered servants of Srila Gurudev and their effect is similar or the same as Srila Gurudev, so we, we give our appreciation to, our appreciation to Sri Parad Madhava Maharaj, How to glorify, how to glorify Sri Padmanava Maharaj is an awesome task. What comes to my mind is that I have never seen such a disciple-guru relationship as with Sri Padmanava Maharaj and Srila Gurudev. I, I think we can say from what we've heard Srila Gurudev say about ideal disciples that Sri Padmanava Maharaj truly fits that description. So. I have also been able to, at times, observe uh, similar intimacy and appreciation of Srila Gurudev, as far as I can fathom and understand, from Sri Bhagavan Maharaj. Thank you, God Brother Padmadav Maharaj, very welcome, wonderful speaker. I am always touched and impressed by his scholarship, his wonderful speaking, and his kindness and affection towards everyone, including myself. Also, Nimi Maharaj, <laughs> whom I have had the honor to know I don't know, for a number of years, and I think I can say that he is uh, a very special Vaishnava, very highly qualified, a deep thinker. We had a, meet, a meeting a few days ago with uh, a number of my godbrother sannyasis. And uh, to, hear, to hear him say the things he had to say and the way he said them, for me, was proof that he is a very qualified and perceptive observer and also knows how to express that. Sri Pat Maharaj, I've had the pleasure to know for over 20, 25 years or so. He's always, I've always considered him to be a friend. I've always admired him for his straightforward, sincere, and natural attitude and his great enthusiasm for Krishna consciousness and preaching uh, has always impressed me deeply and the things that he has said here and the way he presents them always touches my heart. <laughs> also, Sri Prasadhi Maharaj. I, I have a special affection for him also. In fact, I think I've made friends with most of the sannyasis here. <laughs> They are, they are really wonderful examples, and Shroti Maharaj, of course, well, I, I don't know so many things to say spontaneously off the top of my head, but I appreciate him very much. <laughs> Amudar Maharaj, um, last year in Badger, he gave me a few DVDs with uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, and I've been listening to that for, I don't know, about three times. And it's very enjoyable, relishable, his sense of humor, his innocent nature, his great scholarship, and the freshness which, which, uh, with which he can present it is very enticing. And I, I'd like to thank him for that. And he's always like this. And I think he is a... I have the impression that Srila Gurudev appreciates this type of attitude and mentality very much.